After we practice flute, we need to clean it. Here's how I clean my flutes. Let's start by talking about the cleaning cloth. The cloth doesn't have to be anything fancy, just a piece of absorbance material. Growing up, I mostly used old t-shirts and undershirts and things like that. Things that are easily washed because again, they're swapping up spit and we want to be able to wash them frequently. Now, the general size of cloths come in squares and rectangles, oftentimes too big for the flute. When those squares are too big, they can easily get stuck in the flute, which can be a big problem. So I take a piece of cloth and I cut it. This cloth is about 16 inches long, two inches wide at its narrowest, and about eight inches wide at its thickest. Here are two of the cleaning cloths I use. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy or exact. Now let's talk about the cleaning rod. The cleaning rod is what will go into the flute. Sometimes they're metal. Sometimes they're made out of plastic or wood. All of these are fine options. If your flute or if your flute head joint is made out of solid silver, and you can tell that by seeing if 925 is stamped on the instrument or the words sterling or silver, I would definitely recommend using a softer material like the wood or plastic. Once you have your cleaning cloth and rod, we'll begin by inserting the narrower end of the cleaning cloth into the open eye slit of the cleaning rod. Then flip the bigger, the bulk of the cleaning rod, over the wood or plastic or metal. So that way none of that wood, plastic or metal is showing. We'll start by inserting the cleaning cloth on the rod into the foot joint with a gentle twisting motion. Remove the foot joint by holding onto the keys and barrel and gently twisting the foot joint off. Remove the cleaning cloth and place the foot joint in the case. Next, the body, inserting and spinning, pressing it through. Hold the barrel of the flute and the head joint and gently twist the head joint off to remove. And then remove the cloth the rest away from the barrel. The inside should be nice and dry. Lastly, the head joint. So you can do the first spin by inserting just like we just did. But then there's probably still a little bit of moisture left at the very top near the, where the cork is or where that metal plate is at the top of the flute. We'll then take the small edge of the cleaning cloth and kind of wad it up into the top of the flute then press it in and do a few circles there. And voila! the inside of the flute is now dry. You might then take that same cloth or a different cloth and just gently wipe the outside of the flute to make sure there aren't too many fingerprints, especially if you have a silver flute that might be prone to having a little bit of the silver tarnish. And yes, there is a standard way for putting the flute into the case. The back of the case has the largest spot the body of the flute will go there, and the pinky key, the pinky spatula, will face toward you. The barrel of the flute will be on the right. The head joint goes on the right side of the case with the lip plate on the inner part, the crown being on the innermost part. And the foot joint goes on the left side with all of the keys that you touch, the pinky keys, on the inside as well. All cases are designed this same way. The keys toward you, the barrel on the right, the head joint here with the lip plate on the inside and then the foot joint goes to the left side with the pinky keys on the inside as well. I highly recommend storing your cleaning cloth outside of the case. If the cleaning cloth has moisture and we put that inside of the case and store it with a flute, we're likely to grow mold on the inside of the flute, its pads on the inside of the case super gross. So let your cleaning cloth dry, wash it frequently, and store on the outside of the case. So be sure to give your flute a nice clean on the inside and maybe on the outside the next time you practice flute.